combine. You have the Lions taking Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, you got to talk to him at the combine, and I was surprised by this that he does have some haters out there saying that he has reached his ceiling. Uh, he is not faced by that at all. No, and I didn't mention names, but Pete Prisco wonders if he's reached the ceiling. So I asked him that, and he said that's the dumbest question he's ever been asked. And he said, I'm 21 years old, and I'm only going to get better. So uh, I agree with him. And, you know, when you sit next to someone who's uh, 6'6", 275, or 265 and runs a 475, 40, you tend to agree with whatever they tell you. But, I, look, he has been, for the longest time, for the last month or so, my first player off the board. He's my favorite player in this draft. And, and I think if the Jaguars didn't need offensive line, they would take Aiden Hutchinson first over. Overall. He has been absolutely dynamic throughout the course of the season. And look, here's the thing. You can point to that last game in the semifinals where he struggled, quote unquote. But I mean, every other game he showed up. You can see games where J.J. Watt struggled, where T.J. Watt struggled, where Miles Garrett has struggled. I I'm not concerned about him at the next level. And, and I don't think he's reached the ceiling because as he's noted, he's only 21. 2019, the leaps he made from 2019 to 2020 and then from 20 to 20. 2020 to 2021 have been exceeded everyone's expectations. He's a top five talent all day long, and I expect while he is obviously the safest pick in this draft class, he will be immeasurably, immeasurably better two, three, four years from now uh, than when I talked to him at the Combine last week. Always fun calling out Pete Prisco there. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.